In the next few slides, we are going to learn how to manage anogenital warts. Please remember this fact before attempting to treat patients with HPV infection. Number one, 17% of genital warts will spontaneously regress within three months without treatment. And number two, recurrence after treatment are common up to 50% after three to six months. What are the principles of treatment for HPV infection? Number one, treatment is intended to remove the active disease. Number two, there is never a rationale to treat subclinical infection in the absence of active disease. Number three, treatment should follow the objective of do no harm physically and psychologically. There are four indications to treat a genital warts. First, to relieve a symptom. Second, for cosmetic purpose. Third, it may possibly reduce transmission by reducing viral load, but this indication is not supported by strong evidence, and therefore it cannot be the only indication to treat patient. And fourth, to improve self-esteem. In dealing with a genital warts, Always remember this general consideration. Number one, treatment may require many stages or repetition. Number two, if the lesion persists after three months or poor response to treatment, consider biopsy to exclude pre-malignant or malignant condition. Number three, there is no evidence that any specific treatment is superior than others. Number four, please don't treat small asymptomatic lesion more so if patient is not bothered about it. And number five, the presence of genital warts in children requires evaluation for sexual abuse. Treatment can be administered either by patient herself or administered by care provider. There are two types of treatment, either medical treatment or surgical treatment. Patient can be allowed to treat themselves by using this medication. Number one, Podophilox 0.5% solution or gel or condylox. Patient may apply Podophilox solution with a cotton swab or Podophilox gel with a finger to visible genital warts twice daily for three days, followed by four days of no therapy. And this cycle may be repeated as necessary for a total of four cycles. Total wart area treated should not exceed 10 cm square and a total volume of podophyllum should not exceed 0.5 ml per day. Number two is imiquimoid 5% cream or Aldara cream. Patients should apply Aldara cream with a finger at bedtime three times per week every other day for, a, for up to 16 weeks. It is recommended that 6 to 10 hours following the application, the treatment area will be washed with mild soap and water. Many patients may be clear of wart by 8 to 10 weeks or sooner. What are the treatments that should be given by care provider? Number 1. Cryotherapy with liquid nitrogen or cryoprobes. In this method, the provider will apply two free cycles using spray, cryoprobes, or cotton tips applicator with a one-minute store between freezing. This treatment should be repeated every one to two weeks. Special about this technique is that it can be used on internal or external wards, and it is safe in pregnancy. Number two, podophyllin resin, 10 to 25%. A small amount should be applied to each external ward and allowed to air dry. To avoid the possibility of problems with systemic absorption and toxicity, some experts recommend that application should be limited to less than 0.5 ml of podophyllin or less than 10 cm square of wart per session. Some experts suggest that it should be thoroughly watched 1 to 4 hours after application to reduce local irritation and then repeat weekly if necessary. Third option is trichloroacetic acid or TCA or bichloroacetic acid BCA 80 to 90 percent. 
Apply a small amount of TCA only to warts and allow to dry, at which time a white frosting develops. Repeat weekly if necessary. TCA can be used on vaginal and inner warts as well as external warts. TCA can also be used in pregnancy. And fourth option is surgical removal. Surgical removal is the last method. It can be in form of excision, tangential shave excision, curettage, or electrosurgery. This method can be used for external ward and on accessible internal ward. Surgical removal can also be used in selected patient during pregnancy. There are many more alternative methods to treat genital warts, but none of these methods are superior than others. In fact, some of them do not have strong evidence and may potentially cause systemic side effects. Laser surgery. The problem with laser surgery is costly, but in certain patients with large lesion and difficult to treat with other methods, laser surgery may be effective. Interferon therapy. Systemic interferon is not effective. Intralesional interferon has efficacy because of antiviral and immunostimulating effects. Apply three times per week for three weeks. But interferon therapy is not recommended for routine use because of inconvenient routes of administration, frequent visits, and its association with high frequency of systemic adverse effects. The third alternative is 5-fluorouracil creams, but 5-FU is not currently recommended because of side effect. It may be used in treatment of VIN or VAIN. Management of genital warts in pregnancy. There are six important points regarding management of genital warts in pregnancy. Number one, genital warts can increase in size and become more friable during pregnancy. Number two, cytotoxic agents such as podophyllin and podophyllox should not be given in pregnancy. Imiquimod should be avoided. Cryotherapy, trichloroacetic acid or bichloroacetic acid and surgical removal are acceptable in pregnant patients. Prophylactic cesarean section is not recommended to avoid transmission to neonate. In rare instances, Caesarean section may be necessary if extensive warts obstructing the birth canal or the risk of extensive bleeding during vaginal delivery is thought to be high. My final slide. In summary, HPV infection is the most common sexually transmitted disease. High-risk human papilloma virus infection is implicated in many pre-invasive and invasive disease of genital tract. Recognition of HPV infection can be made either by direct or indirect method. Basal cell hyperplasia, acanthosis, coilocytosis, and keratosis are the pathognomonic of HPV infection. Patients with genital ward can have spontaneous regression without treatment. Recurrence after treatment of genital ward can be as high as 50%. And treatment of genital ward should follow the rule of do no harm physically and psychologically. With that, thank you very much for your attention.